One was a band called Maloko that I managed. And I, the, the first time I heard their music, I just fell in love. And I think part of being a sound engineer is you have to fall in love with the music. You know, it's, it's a passion that drives me as a person for music. And as an engineer, it's the passion that leads to the inspiration and the musicians inspire me. And with those guys, because I was managing it, I, I was involved, you know, throughout the whole creative process. I wasn't hands-on at the recording, but was certainly there and, and, and you know, commented and, and took part in the experience, which allowed me to have kind of almost like a unique position when it came to starting the production rehearsals for the tours and, and developing the, the band as artists. We did a lot of work together um, to, to try and develop the show sonically from my perspective, but also just, you know, how the, how the show was laid out and, and as I said, you know, the pre-prod and everything. And I kind of feel like we hit a height that I don't know if I've ever achieved that since because it, it was so musical, it was so challenging and the band was so brilliant in terms of the challenges they set themselves of never going out and, and playing the same show twice and there being so much inspiration during the show and, and you know, the uh, Roisin the Singer just, just providing a unique experience for the audience every time and pushing herself all the time as she still does. So th those tours and the fact that, you know, uh, we, we were lucky and, and the band broke and we got to do all the silly things like rent private planes and, you know, have the fun that, <laughs> that you dream of when you're a kid. The industry is always progressing. I mean, it's changed from the beginning of time until now. Digital has changed everything in terms of end user delivery, uh, content creation. And I use streaming all the time, you know, when I'm driving, it's, it's great. I don't have to kind of take a bunch of CDs with me or load up a hard drive or anything and I can listen to stuff I've never bought. So it, it's a great thing to have. I don't think people care about the quality and the quality will get better as broadband speeds increase, people going across to fibre, mobile networks are increasing their capacity and their speed and eventually we'll end up in a place where you get high quality streaming and it's up to people whether they care about that or not, you know. So, you know, really, to kind of summarise my experience in, in, in various roles uh, in this amazing industry, don't get into it unless you've got a massive amount of energy and passion and drive for it. To get anywhere takes a huge amount of energy and, believe me, sleeping on a bus is not as easy as it sounds. And, you know, going city to city to city, you, you watch tours people kind of go into kind of auto mode and it gets harder and harder to do anything other than the job you've got to do. And as it should be, you save your energy for those moments on stage. And in the studio, you can be working sometimes 24 hour days because the magic starts to happen at three in the morning. Don't believe for a minute that you can get away with anything. This is about pure passion, pure drive and delivering on every level you've got to deliver to get there so you know if it's a nice hobby and you like to play in the pub keep it as a nice hobby it's a great hobby to have if you've got something inside of you that's burning so hard then ignite it go for it and never give up